What is up guys, so we'll be increasing the touch responsiveness on your Nexus 4. So basically, this zip was developed by TRTER10, uh, that's his XDA username, and then he also gives a huge thanks to these people right here, so big thanks to them as well. So thank you, uh, Turter10, for developing this fix for us Nexus 4 users. Now if you have a Nexus 4, then you will realize that you may be having some insane touch responsiveness issues. Now I myself have had these issues. Um, I don't know if it's hardware or software. It looks like they gave it a software fix on this version, but I know that some people just have it insanely bad. So this might be a little opportunity for you guys to try right here. So basically just go to the link in the description. It's going to bring you to this page. And as you can see, it just tells you what it does right there. And then this is uh, what you need to download and install onto your device right here. Uh, this app. This is the BusyBox app. All you gotta do is type in BusyBox into the Play Store and install it. And then you can download the actual zip that you're going to flash in your recovery right here. And then there's also this other zip to undo it. So basically we're going to download these on our device right here. But before we do that, we're gonna go ahead and install BusyBox. So as you can see, I'm on the BusyBox in the Play Store. Just click that and install it. And it should install to your device right there. It shouldn't take too long if you have a fast internet connection. But yeah, just go to your home screen, do your app drawer while it's downloading. Almost done. And yeah, hopefully this will fix my issues because sometimes I'll tap things like very lightly. So, so as you can see, I'm like tapping very lightly there and it's not even recognizing it. So we're going to go ahead and click on this, allow permission and install BusyBox. And it's going to install it. Looks like it's installed. And we're all good to go. You can get out of that. So now what we're going to want to do is go to the uh, link that's on my Surface right now. As you can see, I already have it cached in right there. But yeah, we can just go here, and then we can download uh, the zip right here. So go ahead and download that. It's going to bring us to goo.im, download hosting services. And it's going to download right there. And then once we're done with that, we're going to go to our custom recovery and go ahead and flash it. Now, before you uh, actually flash it in your custom recovery, I highly recommend going ahead and making a backup just in case if the undo zip doesn't work. So yeah, let's go ahead and boot into our recovery. Now, I already have a bunch of backups, so I don't need to make a backup, but I highly recommend making a backup if you don't already have one. So as you can see, it's going to boot us up into our custom recovery right here. Okay, and we're just going to scroll down to install zip from SD card. Go to choose zip from SD card. Uh, I don't know what that is, but go to your SD card directory, go to the download folder, and here's this do.zip, that's what the dd.zip, pardon me. Go ahead and install that. It says that it's going to install it. All right shouldn't take too long. All right, and as you can see, it is finished. So let's click go back and reboot system now. Oh, clicked on the wrong thing. All right, so we're going to reboot our system. As you can see, if you watched my video yesterday, then you could see that I have a boot up animation. That's pretty awesome. As you can see, it sort of looks like a BIOS, and it says CM 10.1 right after this that I really like. All right, and we should have a lot better touch responsiveness. Now, what I'm going to do is test it. I'm going to show you guys how you can test it. Um, before I did some tests, I was getting around 50, and oh, my touch screen doesn't seem to be working. I'm gonna go ahead and reboot my device. Oh, it works there. Oh, there we go. Okay, so here we are. Uh, sorry guys, that was, I was getting scared a little bit. I was like, oh my, this video uh, just ended. <laughs> but it didn't thankfully, so let's go to our settings. Make sure you go to about phone if you haven't already and double click on build number and it's going to make you a developer. Uh, not really, but yeah, it unlocks developer options. So click on that, scroll down to pointer location click on that 
Right up here on the top, you'll see PRS. That's what reads your touchscreen sensitivity. So just click home, go to like an empty spot, and then just touch as lightly as you can. So just click really light, like super light. And as you can see, we're getting about 40 on our little range right there. See right there, 40. Now before this, I was getting about 50 to 60. So obviously if you just barely tap it, I'm not tapping it low enough, but oh, 34 that time. So yeah, obviously you can see that this does increase your touch responsive by about 10%, 15%, but I don't know if my math is right. But anyways, guys, this is just to uh, increase the touch responsiveness. So yeah, let me go ahead and type out some stuff just to see if I think that it's more responsive. Let's go ahead and get rid of this. So uh, I was click on torch. Let's go ahead and get rid of this pointer location thing. It's pretty annoying. All right, where is it? Here it is. All right, so we'll just go back and let's type like end gadget or something. Yeah, it does feel more responsive right off the bat. Obviously, you can't really tell that much, but if you, if you use the device for about two months without the fix, then you can obviously tell. But yeah, I'm actually gonna keep this on. Um, I'm actually really liking it because I can just barely tap. Like, normally I, I would be able to set my finger on the phone and it wouldn't recognize anything, but now I can't even do that. So obviously this fixes uh, whatever problem the Nexus 4 has with touch responsiveness. So I guess thanks for watching this video. Hopefully it helps you guys with your touch responsiveness on your Nexus 4. And yeah, once again, thanks for watching this video, and I'll talk to you later.